When a Christian in America is ordered to take off his t-shirt because it has the name of Jesus, you know the world is coming to an end. I understand that, right. but Jesus is associated with religion. So it's not a religion. It's about, it's about a lie. Okay, but it's the same thing. Okay, people have been offended. You would order a Christian to take off his t-shirt in the mall because people have been offended? People wear all kinds of t-shirts that mock God. Others wear t-shirts with satanic images and symbols, yet no one orders them to leave. I can walk through London with a t-shirt saying Jesus is gay and nothing will happen to me. If I did the same thing with the Islamic prophet, I'd be dead before I got to the end of the street. Boom. We made a separate video addressing Andrew Tate's mockery of Christianity, but he's right here. And the world, of course, is easily drawn into false religion. The world readily drinks its fatal poison. And you might ask why false religion is so attractive to the world. Why do people have so little resistance to false religion? And the answer is this, because the whole world lies in the lap of the evil one, as 1 John 5 says. The reason that the world is so susceptible to false religion is because, by nature, sinners cannot hear the Word of God. They are resistant to the truth. This brave Christian, Paul Shoro, is persecuted because of his faith in Jesus Christ. Why is the name of Jesus so offensive to people? Like I said, all we were asking you is to take your shirt off. You can go to Macy's or you can leave. I didn't say anything. I didn't speak. I didn't, just went to Macy's. Well, again, I'm giving you your you you shopping. You can go to Macy's and you can do your shopping. Or you can leave the mall. Okay? Those are your only options right now. If you want to shop here, you need to take that shirt off. What is, what is, what is wrong with my t-shirt? Again, sir, it is religious soliciting. There is no soliciting allowed on law property, which is private property. It's unbelievable what people can do when they have a deep hatred for Jesus and his followers. Jesus is not like God. He is not close to God. He is not almost God. Jesus is God. Everybody loves Jesus as long as you don't define who he is. As long as you don't get into the nitty gritty of what it means for Jesus to be the son of God. Listen, if Jesus is just a good man and a good teacher, even a good prophet, he is completely acceptable. Mormons and Muslims alike love Jesus. Hindus and Buddhists are very happy with Jesus. As long as he's just a teacher who offers sage wisdom, then Jesus is fine. But the minute you step across that line and argue that Jesus is more than prophet, more than teacher, that he is actually God incarnate, God with us. Now, all of a sudden, those who were more than willing to gather with you scatter. Because everybody loves Jesus as long as you don't define it. Christians in America must take their faith in Jesus Christ more seriously. It's time to take the gospel of Jesus Christ to all facets of our society. The more we fear expressing our faith in Jesus in public places and failing to express the love of Jesus Christ to people we interact with, the more Satan is emboldened to use every means to silence Christians. No, I, I'm a citizen. I know the Constitution. The last time I was here, they told me to leave for 24 hours. I did. Yes, that day I was preaching, preaching the gospel that day. You're still soliciting. I'm walking. It's, yes, you're walking wearing that shirt, and we've had guests come up saying that they've been offended by your shirt. Who we'll said that? We've had guests come up and say you've been offended. So, like this gentleman just said too, take the shirt off and you can go shopping. Please help us spread biblical truth. Subscribe, like, and share. God bless you. The video shows the back of the man's shirt that said, Jesus is the only way, with the logo coexist made with symbols of other religions crossed out.
Some will argue that Paul Shoro insulted other religions by crossing out Coexist logo. Nothing could be further from the truth. Jesus said in John 14 verse 6 that he is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one comes to the Father except through him. Obviously, someone would argue that Jesus' claim to be the only way to God the Father is disrespectful to other religions. The truth always makes those who don't want to accept it uncomfortable. Consequently, when people feel uncomfortable, they persecute a harmless person who shares the biblical truth that only Jesus saves. We recently brought to your attention a woman from the United Kingdom who was arrested for praying in her mind in a public place. Uh, physically, I'm just standing here. Okay. Why, why here of all places? I know you, you don't live nearby. But this is an abortion something. Are you praying? I, I might be praying in my head. Um, so I'll, I'll ask you once more, will you voluntarily come with us now to the police station for me to ask you some questions about today and other days where there are allegations that you've broken from this place of protection? Uh, if I've got a choice, then no. Okay, well then, you're under arrest. I can't suspicion of failing to comply with the public spaces protection order. It's heartbreaking to see how common this type of religious persecution has become in civilized countries like the United States and the UK. We applaud Paul Shoro's boldness in standing for what he believes. We all should be encouraged by this man's zeal for Jesus Christ. Satan hates Jesus more than anyone else, and he's using his agents to drag the name of Jesus to the mud. Satan uses New Age preachers and celebrities such as Joel Osteen, Carl Lentz, and Oprah to undermine the deity of Jesus Christ. One of the mistakes that human beings make is believing that there is only one way to live, That's and right. that we don't accept that there are diverse ways of being in the world, that there are millions of ways to be a then human how do being, you please and, God? and many ways, no, but many paths right. to what you call God, that and her crazy. path might be something else, and when she gets there, she might call it the light, but her loving and her kindness and her generosity, brings her. if it brings her to the same point that it brings you, it doesn't matter whether she called it God along the way or not. And there could possibly be just one way. What, what about Jesus? What about Jesus? There is one way and only one way, and there that is through Jesus. Jesus. There couldn't possibly be with because a million people there in the world. Isn't. There couldn't possibly be. Because you say, you intellectualize it and say there isn't. If no. you don't believe that, you're all buying into the lie. Well, I am a Christian who believes that there are, there are certainly many more paths to God other than Christianity. I'm a free-thinking Christian who believes in my way, but I don't believe that it's the only way. What I believe is that Jesus came to show us Christ consciousness. Do you believe that only Christians can be in relationship with God? No, I believe that when Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, in the way I read that, Jesus said, he is the, he's the road marker, he's the map. So I think God loves people so much that whether they accept or reject him, he's still gracious and he's still moving and he's still giving you massive red blinking lights for chances mm -hmm. to take a, a right turn where maybe you would take a left, but I believe God loves people. And that's what this whole gospel is based on. It's love. You take the love out of it, we've got a moral book. Do you believe that only Christians can be in relationship with God? No. Well, here's the big question. Are there many paths to get to the one God? Well, I believe, Oprah, that there, I believe that Jesus is the way to the one God, but I believe there are many paths to Jesus. You know, you don't know how Jesus would reveal himself to somebody. So I'm not into excluding people. Jesus can reveal himself to anybody. In Colossians, he makes it clear that the fullness of the Godhead dwelled in him bodily. The triune God makes this clear at the baptism of Jesus. Jesus, the Son, is baptized. And when Jesus, God the Son, is baptized, God the Father speaks from heaven and says, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. So God the Father declares that the one being baptized is God the Son and God the Spirit descends upon him in the form of a dove. We have God here in the fullness of time. God is executing a plan exactly when the plan is supposed to be executed and this time is significant because of the very nature of the plan. And the nature of the plan is that God will send God. 
folks, the stage is set for a final cataclysmic battle between the forces of good and evil. We do not need to fear because we know how it will end. Ultimately, Satan will be defeated and God's people will emerge victorious over him. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night for ever and ever. Revelation 20, verse 10. The choice for believers in Jesus Christ is whether they will sit on the sidelines and watch events unfold, or enter the battlefield and fight for the truth and the gospel of Jesus Christ, which has the power to save sinners. This is one of the many reasons why we spent so much time making videos about how Hollywood is reshaping America. Hollywood is successful in part because many Christians love and idolize numerous Hollywood celebrities and the immoral and satanic content they produce. Let us rise, brothers and sisters, in the one true God, Jesus Christ, and make our God proud by shunning evil and exalting the name of Jesus while we still have the opportunity. 